five epic drone movements that can take your drone videography to the next level. For this drone clip, I'm using the spotlight tracking mode, and this allows me to lock onto the subject and then push back while keeping the subject in the center of the frame. First movement is a push in, pretty easy to do. All you gotta do is push forward with the right analog stick. Do a side to side movement real quick. Side to side movements are pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is just move the drone to the left or the right. Now the drifting and rotating movements, what you have to do is you need to synchronize moving both analog sticks at the exact same time while you're also pushing in towards a subject. So it's a bit of a tricky one, but it looks really cool. To achieve a bomb shot, all you gotta do is tilt the camera down and then rise up with the drone. Hello, how are ya? Let's head on to the second location now. And we're gonna be heading to the Botanical Gardens because that has a really nice tree-lined street that we can just zip the drone straight down. And that's gonna be heaps of fun. Might be a little risky sort of flying it in an area where there's so many trees, but we'll see how we go. Let's get into it. Here's another great example of the straight push-in. Honestly, the straight push-in is such a simple movement, but when you use it correctly, the footage looks amazing. So to get this movement looking swift, all you gotta do is you gotta push forward with the right analog stick towards the subject, and then while you're doing that, you fly up by using the left analog stick. Here's another great example of the drifting movement. So those are the more simple sort of manual drone movements that you can do. Now let's get into the tracking modes now. This is where things can get a bit interesting. Okay, so we're at the last location now. We're at Time Ball Tower. Now this is a perfect opportunity to test out the subject tracking modes on the Air 2S. So let's give it a go. If that up there, and grab the cable out. Slot the phone in there. And to take off, all we do is we press that once and then hold to take off. Hopefully there's no one around. We're all good. So now we've got the time ball tower just here and this is a perfect opportunity to set the subject tracking. So it's hooked down a little bit with this one here. Make sure it's in normal mode and then drag a box and we're on spotlight mode. Now we can press record and then just spin around it and it will stay in the center of the frame, which is super helpful. And there we go, we'll stop it there. And to just get rid of the box, you just press the X there and that'll get rid of it. And now you can sort of move freely again. And there we go, as simple as that. So that's the video guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more photography and videography content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.